The Hebrew concept of peace has nothing to do with external stimuli. Nothing. Which means peace can be present when everything is falling apart. The Hebrew concept of peace is not at all about the absence of conflict. See, shalom doesn't even mean peace. We've just translated it that way because we don't know another way to translate it. Shalom means wholeness, completeness, soundness. Shalom carries with it the idea of health and safety and prosperity. But here's one of the biggest things that shalom carries. It's the implication of permanence. See, shalom doesn't mean peace that you have today and then we'll wake up tomorrow and see what happens. Shalom means once you have it, it's yours and it's not going anywhere. Shalom is an inward sense of completeness and wholeness. See, this means that peace, like contentment, can't be found until we believe what God has said. That means that peace is believing 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, that we have everything needed for life and godliness in our knowledge of Jesus. It means that peace is found in Matthew 1, 23, that his name is called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Peace is found in Jesus' promise in Matthew 28, that he would be with us always, even to the end of the age. And in John 14, that the Holy Spirit would live in us and live with us forever. Peace is found when we believe that God loves us with an everlasting love, that he is near so we don't have to give in to our anxiety, that he will never leave us nor forsake us, even when we feel that we've forsaken him. Peace is not when everything around us is what we wanted it to be. Peace is when we believe that God is with us and that God is for us, that God loves us and that God will never let us go. Peace is not the absence of trouble. Listen, peace is not even the absence of anxiety. You can be anxious and at peace at the same time. Some people are going to argue with me about that, but listen, anxiety is not a sin. Anxiety is not something you need to conquer. Anxiety is something you have to endure. Not until it goes away, but until you can have peace in the middle of it. Until you can believe I am who I was created to be because God is who he says he is. And so I don't have to be shaped by how I feel. I've already been shaped by who he is. And so I can have confidence in him even when I have no confidence in myself. I think a lot of us are waiting for the anxiety to leave rather than choosing to find peace in the middle of our anxiety. Peace is not the absence of trouble. It is when we do the work of believing that God's presence is enough and that his love will not fail us, even in the midst of trouble. See, sometimes the only way to get to peace is through difficulty, right? Sometimes peace is on the other side. Psalm 23, 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you are with me. What if green pastures and still waters are on the other side of dark valleys? 